Hey, this is my Raspberry Pi station. So I put a Raspberry Pi inside the PS1, so it's not a normal PlayStation. And I'll show you a bit about it. So in the front here, we got the button. So the power button works. The jack button still operational. And then the reset button doesn't do anything, but it mechanically functions. Then around the back, we got USB port. We got HDMI, and then we got the power, which is just a USB cable, which is straight into my TV over there. Um, if I open this under here, we've got two more USB ports. So one, two, and these also have quite a decent cord length, so you can pull it out of it. The original controller ports also function. The memory card ports don't function. So I plugged it in and put the HDMI in, so let's turn it on. Right, so I got it turned on now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the PS1 controller. So get that in. That's working perfectly. And since we've got the PlayStation, why not let's go ahead and play a PlayStation game? So now it's loaded. You can see I got analogs working. Gotta actually use the analog button. Then I can use the D-pad. So now let's check out the inside. So this is the inside. We've got the USBs that were in the disk drive over here. Then we've got the controller ports. And on the other side of the controller ports, I have wired the USB adapter. I've taken the pins off the USB adapter and put them into the pin holes of the controller adapters and thrown away the original pins. And a couple of them fell off, so I had to solder them back on. And then we've got the on button here. So this here is actually a USB switch that has a power button on it. So it's a, sorry, USB to micro USB. So this powers the Raspberry Pi just over here. And then it comes out over there to the USB, which is here. Then we've got the mechanical reset button, but it doesn't actually do anything. And we have the HDMI extension, so here's the HDMI on the Raspberry Pi, and here's the HDMI out of the console. Um, just to cover the port, I've got the original parallel I.O. over here, as well as its plastic cover. And then we've got all four USB ports being used, two of them for extensions over here, and then there's this USB extension here, and the fourth one is the controllers. And then, lastly, I have the LED working straight off the GPIO. So, I just have the 3.3 uh, volt connection here, and then the ground in here. And then I've got it coming over to the LED. Um, don't have my soldering iron on me when I do this, that's why it's just wrapped around. And that's the inside of it. 